Hello Internet, it is me, the E-Man. This morning I was woken up by a series of texts from my friend who lives in northern China. He was asking me if I had heard about the news. Now, at the time I didn't know what he was talking about, but when he replied with Kyoto Animation and 33 people dead, I googled it to find out. He was of course referring to the fire that ravaged Kyoto Animation's studio at about 10.30 in the morning on Thursday, Japanese Standard Time, which actually works out to the early evening for us on Wednesday. So it's been over 24 hours, and I am definitely late to the party with this video, but I felt it was still important to make, just in case any of you hadn't heard about what happened. Now, personally, I was not super familiar with Kyoto Animation before any of this happened. I was aware of them, and that they were behind K-On! and Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, but none of the anime that I tend to watch was produced by them. They are, however, uh, one of Japan's most prominent animation studios around since 1981, and they're responsible for The Silent Voice, uh, Tomako Love Story, uh, Free, uh, and several other popular franchises. Now, it's always a tragedy when a fire destroys a film studio for the loss of art, records, and the studio's history, but this is much worse for two reasons. One, of course, being the horrendous loss of human life, and also, two, that this was the result not of an accident, but of a deliberate criminal act. Now, according to the BBC, a 41-year-old suspect broke into Kyoto Animation Studio and sprayed petrol before igniting it. According to CNN, the suspect was taken into custody very soon after the fire began, but the police have not been able to question him as he was himself injured. Police have not released any motive as to why the suspect started the fire at the studio, although eyewitnesses at the scene say that before starting the blaze, he screamed, drop dead. Witnesses to the suspect's attempted escape state that he screamed such phrases as, die, you ripped me off, and you copied it. It has, however, been confirmed that the suspect is not an ex or current employee of the studio, and that he brought several knives with him in his backpack. Around 70 people were in the building at the time the fire was set, 33 of which dying in the blaze. 20 of them were women, 12 were men, and one body was so badly burned that the gender could not be determined at this time. 36 people were put in the hospital, with some being in critical condition. Most of the bodies were found either on the second floor or within the stairwell leading from the third floor as people succumbed to the fire while trying to get out. Witnesses say that the suspect was clearly very angry at the studio itself, and Kyoto Animation CEO Hideki Yada, my apologies if I mispronounced that, told reporters that the company has been receiving death threats through the mail for a while now. Shinzo Abe, Japan's Prime Minister, stated in a tweet that he was left speechless by, quote, the gruesomeness of the crime, and offered his condolences. This is actually now the worst mass killing in Japan since 2001, where an arson attack in Tokyo killed 44 people. The death toll at Kyoto Studio is also almost triple that of the 1995 Tokyo subway sarin gas attack, truly making this one of the worst mass killings in Japan since World War II. There has been a massive show of support and solidarity amongst fans in the anime community, with several prominent community members raising awareness for what has happened. And most notably, a GoFundMe page named hashtag HelpKyoAnnieHeal has been set up to help those affected by the attack. Incredibly, it's already surpassed its goal of $750,000 and reached almost $1.2 million in less than 24 hours. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. In the end, I just wanted to make this quick video to spread the news to anyone who might not be aware. I know that lots of much bigger YouTubers have already covered it, but I noticed that most of them seemed to be anime YouTubers. Very few other people had covered it, um, so I figured it's possible that some people might not have heard yet, and uh, I felt it was important to bring it to your attention. Today was a tragedy for the victims, for their families, for Kyoto Animation Studios, and for the anime community as a whole, and I hope that justice will be found. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.